After Manchester United and Napoli reached an agreement over the transfer of Scott McTominay, the Scottish midfielder received a warm welcome as he arrived in Naples ahead of his proposed £25 million move. Having spent 22 years at Manchester United, McTominay is now set to join the Serie A side before the end of the summer transfer window. Upon his arrival at Naples Airport, McTominay was greeted by hundreds of enthusiastic fans, many with phones in hand, eager to catch a glimpse of their new signing. The United Academy graduate, who has been with the club since his youth, was quickly escorted by a security entourage into a car, which took him to his hotel. From there, he is expected to visit the Diego Maradona Stadium, where he will complete the final formalities of his move. McTominay is set to sign a long-term contract with Napoli on Thursday, having already agreed on personal terms with the Italian side. His transfer, worth £25 million, will make him one of the most expensive Scottish footballers in history. As part of the deal, Manchester United has secured a 10% sell-on clause, ensuring they benefit from any future transfer involving McTominay. While there was a desire from Eric Ten Hag to keep McTominay at Old Trafford, the club could not guarantee him the regular starting position he sought. As a result, McTominay was granted the opportunity to move on and seek new challenges in Serie A. As McTominay prepares to embark on this new chapter in his career, Manchester United fans, along with his teammates and coaches, wish him the best of luck. His dedication, passion and contributions over the years have earned him a special place in the hearts of United supporters, who will undoubtedly continue to follow his journey with great interest. Good luck, Scott McTominay. You will be missed. His unwavering dedication, passion and numerous contributions throughout the years have solidified Scott McTominay's special place in the hearts of Manchester United supporters. From his early days as a promising academy player to his role as a reliable first-team member, McTominay's journey at Old Trafford has been marked by memorable moments and a deep connection with the fans. As he embarks on this new adventure with Napoli, United fans will undoubtedly continue to follow his journey with great interest, cheering him on from afar. McTominay's departure marks the end of an era, but his legacy at Manchester United will endure. His commitment to the club, both on and off the pitch, has left an indelible mark, and he will always be remembered as one of United's own. Good luck, Scott McTominay. You will be deeply missed by everyone at Old Trafford. But your next chapter is sure to be just as bright. The United Faithful will forever support you, wherever your career takes you. McTominay is poised to sign a long-term contract with Napoli on Thursday, marking a pivotal moment in his footballing career. Having already agreed on personal terms with the Italian giants, the transfer is the culmination of weeks of negotiations and planning. This move will see McTominay, a player who has spent over two decades at Manchester United, begin an exciting new chapter in Serie A, a league renowned for its tactical sophistication and intense competition. For McTominay, the decision to move to Napoli was not taken lightly. After years of dedication to Manchester United, where he rose through the ranks from the academy to the first team, the prospect of regular playing time and a fresh challenge proved too enticing to pass up. The midfielder had long been a reliable figure in United's squad, known for his versatility, work ethic and ability to perform in crucial moments. Despite being valued by manager Eric Ten Hag, the club's inability to guarantee him a consistent starting role ultimately paved the way for his departure. Napoli, a club steeped in history and passion, offers McTominay the opportunity to compete at the highest level in a new environment. The Italian side has been on the rise in recent years, consistently challenging for titles both domestically and in Europe. For McTominay, the chance to contribute to such an ambitious project is an exciting prospect. His signing is seen as a strategic move by Napoli, who view him as a key addition to their midfield, a player capable of bringing energy, leadership and Premier League experience to their squad. The terms of McTominay's long-term contract reflect the club's belief in his abilities and potential to make a significant impact in Serie A. 
With the deal set to be finalized on Thursday, McTominay is expected to quickly integrate into the team and begin preparations for the upcoming season. His versatility in midfield, whether as a box-to-box -box player or a more defensive presence, will provide Napoli with valuable options as they navigate the challenges of domestic and European competitions. As McTominay prepares to don the iconic Napoli blue, meanwhile, Man United certain to raise offer in private meeting with 34-meter star given dream transfer permission. According to reports, Manchester United are certain to raise their offer for Fenerbahce left-back Ferdi Kadioglu, who is also linked with Brighton. The Red Devils have already spent around £150 million to sign Joshua Xerxes, Lenny Yoro, Matthijs De Ligt, and Nusser Mazraoui this summer. A few more signings are still expected before this summer's transfer window closes later this month. One of their priorities is to sign a new center midfielder, and a PSG star is their dream signing. But they could also look to sign a new left-back. Injuries meant Luke Shaw and Terrell Malaysia barely featured for Manu Teed this season, and the two players will miss the start of the 2024-25 campaign. Manu Teed boss Ten Hag recently admitted they are trying to sort problems on the left. While Mizrawi is a natural right-back, the Dutchman confirms he can fill the position at left back. He said, We are looking and we can sort problems on the left side, with for instance Martinez and Diogo Dalot is are also capable of playing there. Nusar can fill the position. While versatile defender Mazraoui will be useful this season, Man Utid could still enter the market for a new left back and they are being linked with Turkey international Kadioglu. Brighton had been considered the favorites in the race to sign the fullback, but Man Ut are his first choice, and they have reportedly forced the transfer needle to turn. A new report in Turkey claims Kadioglu has been given permission to achieve his dream of playing in the Premier League. Interestingly, Ten Hag has rubbished suggestions he favors signing players who have previously played in the Dutch Eredivisie, no, no, not for favorite. First of all, it's club decisions. None of them is only my decision. It's always backed or even brought up through the scouting, recruitment, the technical director, the sporting director. It's a decision made by more than only one, but yeah, some, you know, the players and personalities, and also it has to fit also in the finance. Manchester United are poised to intensify their pursuit of Fenerbahce's highly rated left back, Ferdi Kadoolu by raising their initial offer in a bid to secure his services before the transfer window closes. The 24-year-old Turkish international has been on United's radar for some time, and recent developments suggest that the club is more determined than ever to bring him to Old Trafford. United's interest in Kadolu is driven by their urgent need to reinforce their defensive options, particularly at left-back. The club has been hit hard by injuries to both Luke Shaw and Tyrell Malaysia, leaving a significant gap in that position. Kadolu, who has impressed with his performances for Fenerbahce, is seen as a versatile and dynamic option who could provide much-needed cover and competition in United's defense. Initial discussions between Manchester United and Fenerbahce had stalled due to disagreements over the transfer fee. United's first bid, while substantial, fell short of Fenerbahce's valuation. The Turkish club, well aware of the growing interest in Kadolu, especially from Premier League rivals Brighton, has been holding out for a fee closer to 34 million. Brighton's involvement has further complicated the situation, as they have also made a formal offer and are reportedly close to agreeing on personal terms with the player. However, Manchester United are not backing down. According to reports, the club is preparing to raise their offer in a forthcoming private meeting with Kadolu's representatives. This increased bid is expected to be more in line with Fenerbahce's demands, as United seek to outmaneuver Brighton and finalize the transfer. The move is being spearheaded by United's co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe and the club's recruitment team, who have identified Kadolu as a key target to address the current defensive crisis. 
Kadolu himself is reportedly keen on a move to the Premier League, and while Brighton's interest is strong, Manchester United remains his preferred destination. The allure of playing for one of the world's biggest clubs and competing in the Champions League is said to be a major factor in his decision-making process. Kadolu's versatility, which allows him to operate not only as a left-back but also in midfield, makes him an attractive option for United as they look to strengthen their squad depth. The potential signing of Kadiolu would be a significant boost for Manchester United, providing manager Eric Ten Hag with a reliable and adaptable player who could slot into various roles across the back line. It would also ease the pressure on the current squad, offering cover and reducing the risk of burnout among the regular starters. Other story, 